Welcome back to another episode of Madden 24's QB Superstar Career Mode brought to you and presented by the EA Creator Network. Keep in mind what you're seeing is a work in progress. If you see something crazy, just remember this is an early release version of the game. It's not exactly the retail version. And we got a lot we got to do this week. We are facing the number one overall pick, Bryce Young. And I want to prove that I'm really the number one guy. I should have been number one, but I'm happy here in Seattle. We talked about my skill set a lot in the last episode. The accuracy was that thing was all over the place. So we do have again the 84 throw power. We were able to unlock a throw power skill rating, which really helps us out a little bit. But we definitely want to focus on accuracy here. So I'm going to say we bump this one up to a 70. So our medium throws a little bit better and we have two points. So I think we go for our deep accuracy as well, because I'm kind of afraid to throw deep balls at this point. Or you know what? I'm, I'm going to say double for medium. We're going to go two on medium. We're going to go up all the way to an 81 overall. We don't really throw a ton of deep balls. So we'll be fine not throwing those just yet, but soon. Something I want to remind you guys about as well. So we do have, again, the bronze arm talent. Uh, go ahead and equip and that's for our bullet passing. But as you notice here for the silver tier unlock requirements, we need to get our throw power skill rating up to a 90. That makes sense. We also have to throw and complete 125 bullet pass completions. You got to put in the work as well. We're at 17 out of 125 after the last game. I mean, I throw a lot of bullet passes. And then if you want to get it to gold again, a 99 throw power skill rating and 250 bullet pass completions. I like how they're doing that. It's worth pointing out as well, because we hit level 10, we get a permanent speed boost. We get an acceleration speed boost. Those are both plus one. We get two skill points, which you just saw us use, and 200 cred. That's important. Because if you look right below my webcam, you're going to see my speed is now an 86, previously an 85. I mean, we need all the speed we can get. You see me out there. And with that out of the way, Coach Walsh wants to talk to us. Let's see what he's got to say. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One more. One more. You got it. Yeah. All you. There you go. Good work. There's the man I was looking for. Good work, I kid. How we doing, Cap? It is just Cap, right? Yeah, you got it right. All good here, Coach Dub. Good stuff, kid. You've been building a lot of trust in a short amount of time. Keep it up. Well, on that note, possible to get some extra reps in this week. Of course. What are you trying to get better at? Ooh, attacking cover one, attacking cover two. I'm going to say attacking cover one. I feel like we're seeing that more. All right, good. Let's get out there. Let's get it. All right, so this is pretty cool. So that conversation takes us directly into practice and we'll be looking at directly cover one coverage and trying to get better at beating that. That's really cool. So we have the conversation with Coach Walsh. We come into practice. We're doing a cover one recognition drill. And let's see how this goes. Rolling, I got DK, easy money. Wide open spaces for the first completion. All right, man, we'll get a touchdown. Hold on now. What's interesting is you cannot hot route this either, which I think would have been kind of nice because I would probably hot route in real life. Got my guy. Let's go. Good catch. All right, so it's definitely going to be slants every single time. Oh, God, the pressure is real. He came back at please. <gasps> he caught it. We have silver. Okay, we need two more for gold. Can we do it? I wish we could do something different than slants. Like, it can't just be slants every time, can it? Oh, that's incomplete. All right, so so much for gold, but we're gonna, we got silver locked up. Last chance. DK, I see you. And it's a dot to my guy. We'll take that. Four out of five. Would have been great to get five out of five, but we'll take our little silver and we'll keep it moving. What's kind of cool here too, I think the social media feed I thought was going to be kind of a throw in, but it's actually kind of nice. They show you passing leaders some people that are dominating in the league. They give you sort of a recap of how you did like in an actual social media feed. This is posted from the Seahawks in this scenario. It's just cool seeing it. And the Madden cast is really cool. I don't want to spoil a lot of those videos, but definitely make sure you check them out because they're nice. All right, so from a brand focus, we can do uh, important appearance, a dancing machine or call out. I'm doing the important appearance because I'm going to take that 200 cred. We skipped the drills for this week because we just did one, but we have awareness. We have uh, cred for a prank war, speed for the next game. I definitely want speed. I think these are cool because you can pretty much strategize what you want to do as you have a different opponent each week. Do you need more speed you need more throwing accuracy what do you basically need you can go in there and make that happen uh so we have spin training medium pass training which gives us plus two throw accuracy for the next game on the medium side i'm definitely doing that because again you've seen what we need and it's definitely throw accuracy and then lastly a little extra recovery plus two strength one stamina uh plus two strength oh it's literally the same for those top two uh yeah and then you have this one which is cryo treatment awareness and max stamina I really feel like awareness is probably going to help us out and max stamina, so we're going to use that one. The big guy we got to watch out for in this game is Brian Burns. Seven tackles, one sack. Hopefully, he gets none of those against us. We can get our third rushing touchdown this week, which is probably more likely than passing touchdowns here, but we just need to make sure we give our home fans a win today. 
We did an A-minus teammate grade last game. I want that every single game. We just got to make sure we limit the turnovers and we just make smart plays. That's been difficult for us. We're going to bait the CPU DB and we're going to keep it moving with Jackson Smith and Jigba down the sideline. I think we really found something last week. We spent a good time making sure that Kenneth Walker III was getting involved early and often and you're seeing the benefit of that. Second and five. So far, so good. Kind of want to unleash one. We're going to throw that one. It's a no. We knocked it loose. That was so close. Big third down to five. Can we convert? We're gonna risk it. That's a close one. And DK Metcalf holds on to it. This has been a really good drive to start. Let's keep it moving. A little play action fake. See if we can bait the DBs. Ooh. I kind of want to unleash one, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. We're gonna get the first down. I should have thrown it, but I was just nervous. I always have this fear that when we sort of ran the routes out as far as they can go, that at the last second our guy is gonna run away from us. Oh, they're blitzing. And let's get rid of it. I know this camera angle might not be for everybody, but I'm going to be honest. I like it. I feel more immersed in the game. It's more difficult to throw passes and to really read the defense this way. It's a challenge, and I think that's why I like it the most. This is a big play. We're in field goal range. So we don't want to risk anything too much. Oh, I believe. <gasps> he held on to it. What a dot and what a catch. Are you kidding me? Jackson Smith and Jigba is insane. Hey, look, a solid drive. I'll take my 51 XP. I'm here for it. Uh, let's go for four. Oh, I'll go four consecutive completions. Good news is, is that Carolina actually did not score, so we're kind of in a good spot. And yeah, that was great coverage. I'm glad that was incomplete. I feel like JC Horn's kind of upset because he gave up a touchdown on the last drive, so he's like, nah, you ain't getting one here. We're rolling. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. And we slid. I know I need four plus completions this game consecutive, but or on this drive, but. I want to make sure we have a smart drive at the same time. Kenneth Walker, what a smart play call. Let's get more points in this drive here. I don't really know what happened there, but it is what it is. Let's make a play. Oh, they're blitzing. <gasps> that was scary. We got super lucky to the fact that that wasn't an interception because that definitely could have been. <gasps> Man, last few times we got hit as we threw. Luckily, they got an injury on their side, not on our side, but that just wasn't a great drive for us at all. Carolina's answered back. They got their own points on the board now. We got to make something happen. We got a guy. It's knocked out. Oh, man, the DBs are playing hard. We got, we're three for 10. This would be a great baseball average. Not in the NFL, though. Eskridge in the slot might be the move here. Found him, and he's going to hold on to that one. Huge play. All right, we're moving to a C plus now. Let's go see if KW3 wants to get something here. And he gets some block. Oh, 99 with a great block. Kenneth Walker's out here moving first down. Hey, look, I'm gonna be honest. You running like that, you're getting the ball back to back plays here. Kenneth Walker, go to work. All right, that big fella was not letting you go to work. Trying to find a way to get our fifth touchdown pass of the season here. Oh, I see a guy. I believe <gasps> he caught it. Eskridge is a monster. We hit him on a nice pass earlier. Now he's in the end zone. <laughs> That's my receiver. Five, three, or seven pass completions. Let's go five here. I think one of my favorite things about that play right there is that Eskridge caught that ball on the run and kept moving and wasn't easily caught by the defenders. That was one of my biggest gripes, I think, with Matt in the last few years is that if your dude was catching a rack catch, they would get stopped so many times from behind. Up to a B minus teammate right here in the second quarter. We got plenty of time. Let's have a good long drive and make sure they don't get anything, but we get all the points. Kenneth Walker out here running. I just got thrown to the ground like a small child, but Kenneth Walker is still moving. It's like another small detail, too, but you'll see a lot of times the other players in your team show a ridiculous amount of motion. And honestly, I'm here for that. I want to see these players make plays and get excited or be frustrated. That's huge. Two touchdowns in the game. We're trying to make a three. Yes, he slides over. Play action. Yeah, I'm Brian Burns is a grown man. I want no parts of that. I'm scared. Got a seven point lead. Third and five. Bro, you are so scary. I just said Brian Burns was scary. And look at this dude, man. That is a problem. Tie ball game had a, had a feeling it was coming. Carolina has just been playing so much better. And they're out here. Oh my God, Brian Burns. Get away from me, please. I have a family. I'm out here. That extra speed is looking nice right now. I feel like every single play I have to pay attention to a key defender. Like Brian Burns is so scary. Bro, I don't want to run, but all that pressure, the pockets collapsed. Like I gotta get out of there. Too many warnings here. Bro, Brian Burns is like, nah, you ain't going nowhere. I gotta get rid of it. See if we get Kenneth Walker back involved. I've kind of relaxed 
Oh my god, dude, they are blitzing heavy right now. Carolina is not playing any games. Like, they are just in the backfield every single time. Burns is QB containing. He's not letting me get over there. We're going to dump it off to Kenneth Walker, see if he gets some blocks. He's trying to get over there. He gets a little bit, but it's not going to be enough. Fourth and short, we got a punt. Things are getting a little tough. On our own 25, we got 41 seconds. We do have three timeouts. But it's going to be risky, and I cannot believe he held on to that. Let's use a timeout right now. We could even just get a field goal, maybe. I'd be okay with that. Another dodge. Jackson Smith and Jigba, how did you hold on to that? Use our second timeout. 30 seconds left. <laughs> That's what we could not have happen. All right, we got to spike it real quick. I don't want it. I didn't want to use the timeout in case we need it for a field goal. We could maybe get a field goal range here. Eight seconds. We're going to need a good completion here. I'm rolling. And yeah, just you might as well punt it. We're going to be down seven at halftime. Oh, coach is actually going to let me sling it. Okay, this could be bad. I could get an interception. My teammate Gray could go down. Please don't hurt me from a teammate Gray perspective. YOLO, I believe. Deflected. Okay, no interception. We're fine. We're going to halftime down seven. It could be worse. I know Coach Carroll's not happy, but it could be worse. All right, they didn't score starting this the second half, so we're going to try to get 45-plus passing yards here. I want that that major XP. They have the greatest punter of all time because we're inside of our 05 right now. Give us a little bit of breathing room. Oh, yeah, Kenneth Walker. Way to fight and get yourself some breathing room here. Short yardage situation. I'm going right back to him. There we go. Way to go through and wait for your block. Important drive. We got our guy. It's a little late, but Noah Fant, man. He's been such a big safety net for me this season. That gives me 30 of the 45 passing yards we need on this drive. A little crack toss. I mean, that was solid. We got three yards. Oh, Kenneth Walker. Oh, I thought he was hurt. I got scared. Let's give Kenneth Walker a break because we've been using that dude a little too much. No, I need him to get that. We are so close to getting those. Let's throw under pressure. So we got to get that rating up, too. I think that is one of my favorite things about this mode so far, though, which is that you're realizing that certain ratings, you've got to get rid of the ball quick if you're a quarterback or else those ratings aren't good enough for sure. And when they blitz, man, you feel it. I'm scared. Oh, my God. Jackson, way to hold on to that. I feel like I really went to the perfect spot for me because I have some receivers that are absolutely bailing me out right now. And I have an incredible young running back that when they block for me is good. They blitz me so much this game. I'm scared. There we go. Dwayne Eskridge. Him and Jackson have been remarkable this game. We're inside the red zone. If we can get by Brian Burns, I think we're in the end zone here. Nope, he's not letting it happen. He knew. <laughs> he knew he knows the playbook. Second and goal. Ooh, Kenneth Walker seems open here. I was a little late on that pass. <gasps> he was close. He's down to the five. We need this third and goal. We can answer right here. Tie the game up. Put all the pressure on their offense now. DK Metcalf, let's go. He held on to it. You never know this season, and I'm happy to see my receiver doing things. Ooh, all the XP on that drive, too. You love to see it. All right, wait, drive goal here is, I'm going to say four pass attempts. Oh, one rushing touchdown. I can make that happen. Fourth quarter, they got three points in their drive. So we're in, a, in, a, in an okay spot, I think, right now. You know what? I'm going to make them fear the legs. Make them fear the legs. Oh, their defensive backs to creep up a little bit. Then we can try to hit him over the top with a nice, nice pass. But still, I want a rushing touchdown because, again, that's my objective this drive. I have no idea if this play is going to work, but YOLO. Oh, DK. DK Metcalf. I thought we were about to have one. Man, we had them challenged. I felt so good. Kenneth Walker. <laughs> oh, I'm so close on those. We needed that. All right, coaches are going to let us go for a fourth down. I get it, but I'm hoping our defense can do their job. If they give up a touchdown, this is going to be dicey. We got the ball back so ridiculously quick, and we're deep in our own territory, but it's fine. I mean, we're rolling. Brian Burns hit me late. Call a penalty. Get him out of the game. All right, right back to Kenneth Walker. That's close. Oh, he gets pushed forward. I'm here for it. We've had a good game, but we just need to make this a great game. Oh, your boy's out here. No, 24 so fast. I thought I was getting out of here. I'm going to be honest. I thought I had a like 30, 40 yard run there, but 24, man, he just ruined it all. I hate him. I right, slide the tight end over. One of my favorite plays. We're running into the weak side, though. Oh, my God. Did I just make that throw? <gasps> Noah fan. 
Let's go. I cannot believe we threw that dot. 300 yards passing for the first time in my career. Right back to the run. We don't have to score quick. The touchdown will be nice, but we don't have to score super quick. Second and goal. Come on, Kenneth. Fight. That's not enough. Third and goal. This has got to be... This has got to be a touchdown. The hard part here is that we know that a field goal is fine. The hard part here is we know a touchdown doesn't have to be it. A field goal can be absolutely fine. But I want a touchdown. Rolling. See a guy back in the end zone. <gasps> Did he get his feet down? Jackson did. Oh my God, we're good. All right, we have the lead. There's a minute 55 left. Defense, three shot. I have an A-plus teammate great. They said I couldn't do it and I did it. Now we've got to see if our defense can do their job. <gasps> I think they did. Okay. They have one timeout. We're about to walk in here with a W. I like it. We've got the momentum. We can run it. Why did you get lifted like that? That is their third and final timeout, though. I think math is hard. I think we're going to be in a spot that we're fine. They know we're running it, but it doesn't matter. We've conservative on. We're going to be two in the clock. Third and ten, two in the clock down. Low QB Neil, because you know I'm afraid. I'm afraid of a fumble. Yes, that hurt my teammate Gray slightly. Yes, I still kept my A plus. If I lost the A plus, I would have been salty. After losing a heartbreaker in week one, we're gonna come back in our next home game. And we're gonna pick up the W. Your boy played great. 300 plus passing yards, four touchdowns, 81 rushing yards, 801 total XP. The most I've ever had with an A plus teammate great. They said it couldn't be done. But I did it. One of the best things after the game, in my opinion, is how the locker room is a little bit different. If you win, especially in a close one, or if you lose, the reactions you're going to see are going to be entirely different. So you can see your boy out here hyping up the squad. Why? Because I'm the quarterback now. Gino might have beat us in week one, but eventually we will get revenge. Because we're going to go to the playoffs. I can believe it. Be safe, be smart, tell someone you love them. That was crazy. Catch you guys on the next one.